I welcome you all for this uh, session. In this session, we will continue the discussion on uh, linear uh, measuring uh, instruments. We will discuss about uh, the dial indicators, dial test indicators, digital indicators, digital and uh, dial thickness uh, indicators, digital depth gauge and uh, universal uh, caliper. Now, first let us discuss about uh, dial indicators. This uh, figure shows a commonly used uh, dial indicator. I can see the uh, various parts of the dial indicator. This is the bezel and bezel lock and this is the dial. We have a bigger dial and a smaller uh, dial. The resolution of uh, this uh, dial is uh, 0 0.01 millimeter and for uh, each uh, revolution of the big pointer, this small pointer will move by one digit, one uh, graduation. So, the range of uh, this uh, measuring uh, instrument is 0 to 5 millimeter with resolution of 0 0.01 millimeter. Now, there are uh, limit uh, hands, we can set uh, these limit hands uh, for upper and lower limit of the uh, to set the tolerances. Whenever uh, the pointer goes beyond the limits, then uh, the work piece uh, can be rejected. So, this can be used for limit gauging purpose for comparing the uh, dimension of the work piece uh, with the uh, nominal value. And uh, this is the stem and plunger and this is a carbide uh, contact uh, point. Uh, most of the parts are made out of uh, high strength uh, stainless steel, so that it will be uh, rigid and it will be uh, st sturdy. Now, what are the specifications of uh, dial indicators? Now, these uh, dial indicators are available uh, to work in normal working condition as well as in the, uh, uh, in the condition where there is flash of coolants. Uh, uh, coolant. So, waterproof type uh, are also available and back plunger type are also available. In some cases, uh, we have to use uh, the dial indicator wherein the plunger is at the back. And then we have long uh, stroke uh, uh, dial indicators are available with the range of 0 to 300 uh, millimeter and the dial size can be 31 to 36 mm for a, a very compact uh, dial indicator where space is uh, not available such compact uh, dial type indicators uh, can be used and large diameter uh, dial uh, also they are also available with 92 millimeter uh, diameter for easy reading. Now, uh, you can see the graduations uh, are available in 0 0.01 mm, 0 0.001 mm with a range of uh, 10 millimeter, 5 millimeter, 1 millimeter like that and in bracket we have indicated range per revolution. So, per revolution is uh, the range is uh, 1 millimeter and then accuracy of these uh, the dial indicators uh, the total overall accuracy is about uh, 13 uh, microns for this particular uh, uh, range and it uh, if for uh, 0 0.001 graduation the overall accuracy will be 5 uh, micrometer and repeatability will be like uh, 0.5 uh, micrometer, 3 micrometer. So, depending upon our requirement, we have to select the appropriate uh, dial indicator. Now, uh, there are uh, different uh, types of uh, contact uh, point, plunger uh, ends are available like ball point, end, uh, shell point, spherical point conical point, knife edge. So, depending upon the application, we have to select the proper uh, uh, contact point. For example, uh, say we have a very narrow groove like this. So, we have narrow groove like this. In such cases, we may have to 
go for uh, knife edge knife edge type so that it it will enter into the groove comfortably so similarly the spherical type say the contact point will be like this with larger uh, radius and uh, when the work pieces are uh, pushed from the sideways then uh, such uh, spherical type of indicators will be very useful also there are uh, liver type uh, indicators which we will be discussing after uh, some time then let us see the construction of uh, the dial indicator we can see this is the uh, measuring uh, spindle or uh, plunger there are uh, built in uh, rack in the spindle and uh, we can also see the pinion so when the plunger moves this uh, pinion will also move and there is a set of uh, gear train this pinion uh, is fixed to the bigger gear and this is in contact uh, in uh, mesh with uh, another smaller uh, pin like this there is a train of uh, gear so the displacement gets uh, amplified so now uh, see this uh, dial indicator uh, one thing is uh, it senses very small distances of the order of maybe 0.001 millimeter or 0 0.01 millimeter very small displacement which we, we cannot uh, sense so this uh, type of dial indicator it senses the very small displacements as well as it amplifies like for uh, for example 100 times 200 times 300 times it amplifies and finally at the pointer depending upon the pointer uh, length also we get some magnification so in the dial we can comfortably note down the reading for example if the uh, uh, plunger moves by 0 0.01 millimeter the pointer will move by approximately 1.5 to 2 millimeter so finally we get a, a, a magnification of 100 or 200 uh, times so that we can comfortably record uh, the displacements now uh, we have a spring here so when the work piece is uh, removed the measuring spindle will come down because of this uh, spring force we can also see there is a hair uh, spring for uh, balancing uh, purpose. Now we have another uh, dial uh, indicator. This uh, measuring range is uh, 0 to 1 millimeter and uh, the resolution is 0 0.002 millimeter. So for one uh, complete revelation, we can see here it is 0 to 100 and again uh, 0 to 100. So, for one complete revolution, the smaller uh, pointer will move by, it will indicate 0.2 millimeter uh, displacement. Now, this is the, uh, we can see the mounting arrangement here, the back uh, we have uh, a, a hole uh, is available. So, using this we can fix this uh, dial indicator to the uh, magnetic uh, stand and we can uh, do the necessary work. Now, this uh, shows dial indicator with uh, magnetic uh, stand, we can see the magnetic stand and uh, we can also see how the um, uh, dial indicator is fixed to the magnetic stand. Now, I will explain uh, how to use the dial indicator for uh, comparing the sizes of the work piece. That means, the dial indicator is used as a comparator. Now, this is the dial indicator, dial of the dial indicator and then uh, this is the stem. So, this stem is used for fixing the dial indicator to the stand. Now, this is the plunger and this is the carbide tip of the plunger or spindle. Now, uh, this is uh, the stand of dial indicator and this is the reference surface datum and uh, the now initially uh, we should know what is the approximate thickness of uh, the work piece and then uh, we have to set the dial indicator uh, for that uh, the approximate size of the work piece is 10 millimeter and I am taking a slip gauge of uh, 10 millimeter. You can see the slip gauge, uh, this is a 10 millimeter uh, slip gauge. I am putting it on the datum surface after cleaning and then now I have to set the dial to read 0. 
now it is reading uh, 0. I just uh, lift the spindle, I will remove the slip cage and then I will put the work piece the thickness of whose uh, uh, thickness of this work piece is to be measured I am keeping that on the datum surface. Now, I have to take the reading. So, we see now when we lift the spindle it moves in the clockwise direction. Okay. So, now when we keep this work piece now the uh, dial indicator reading is the resolution is 0 0.01 mm. So, uh, the dial indicator reading is uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.588 or 0.59. So, the size of the work piece is 0 0.59 uh, millimeter greater than the slip case setting. That means, slip gauge setting is uh, 10 millimeter and size of the work piece is gre greater by an amount of uh, 0 0.59 uh, millimeter. So, the thickness of this work piece is 10.59 millimeter. So, like this we can uh, use dial indicators as comparators. For direct quantitative measurement within the range for example, dial indicator is having 0 to 10 millimeter within that range we can use it we use this instrument for direct uh, measurement. So, we can keep the work pieces uh, below the plunger and between plunger and uh, the datum surface the plunger will move up and it directly gives uh, the reading whether it is 2 millimeter or 5 millimeter or 8 millimeter. Now, what are the various uh, applications of uh, dial indicators? Uh, so, we uh, discussed about uh, this. Uh, uh, the it can be used uh, for uh, comparison purpose comparison of work pieces with the set uh, uh, level and then this can be used for setting fixtures say we want to set uh, jigs and fixtures on the machine so whether it is properly fixed or not whether it is properly aligned or not for checking that we can uh, use this and also for uh, certain tests on uh, various kinds of machine tools for example say we want to check whether this uh, slides various slides like uh, tile stock quill and saddles whether they are parallel uh, parallel whether they have parallel movement with respect to axis or not or if there is error what is the amount of error and if there is run out of the spindle of lathe uh, so we can uh, check uh, using uh, the dial indicator so for alignment testing we can uh, use this uh, dial indicator also for uh, backlash checking we can uh, use uh, dial indicators and also for direct measurement uh, this can be used. Now, we will move to dial test uh, indicator with uh, universal uh, swivel this is also known as uh, lever uh, type uh, dial indicator uh, we can see we have a dial here with the pointer we can have uh, we can see the graduations the in this case graduations uh, resolution is 0 0.01 mm and uh, this is the lever lever of uh, this uh, indicator. Uh, this can be used for uh, uh, alignment purpose or setting uh, purpose or uh, for uh, co comparison uh, purpose. So, one arrangement is uh, shown here the uh, slip cage of required uh, height is uh, uh, used for initial setting this is set to 0 when it's for, a, for example, 40 millimeter slip they have kept and reading is adjusted to 0 and then we have to remove this and work pieces can be inserted and then uh, readings can be. In that case the height gauge uh, scale will not will not be using only we will be reading the uh, dial test indicator uh, readings. Now, uh, this uh, shows uh, the another uh, view of uh, the dial test uh, indicator this is the carbide tipped uh, stylus. Now, we can see here uh, we have uh, the working mechanism of uh, dial test uh, indicator this is the lever which will move like this. So, this will uh, move uh, to approximately uh, some 30 degrees it can be set at any uh, angle and then it can be it will swivel uh, like this that is why it is known as uh, uh, universal uh, uh, swivel uh, dial indicator and then uh, 
this is the uh, this lever is attached to the gear uh, sector and then this is in mesh with uh, pineal. So, when the lever moves like this oscillate uh, uh, tilts like this, this gear sector will uh, move and then pinion uh, will uh, rotate. So, this pinion is fixed to the uh, crown gear uh, pair. So, the uh, this smaller crown gear will rotate like this and which is fixed to the pointer and pointer will move on the dial and we can take the reading. So, this is the working mechanism of uh, dial test uh, indicator and you can also see there is a bumper rubber uh, bumper made out of uh, rubber. In case it moves beyond the limit, so this uh, lever will come and hit uh, the bumper rubber bumper and it will uh, prevent uh, the damage to the internal uh, mechanism. Now, when we use these uh, dial test indicators, the angle between the workpiece surface and the lever uh, plays a major role. We should always see the we should always try to minimize the angle between uh, the lever and uh, the uh, workpiece surface otherwise uh, the cosine uh, errors uh, will happen. So, that can be seen like this uh, we have the workpiece surface and then we have this uh, ball and uh, lever. So, this is the axis this is the angle inclination theta. Now, we always we see the, the work piece will be moving uh, like this. So, when we insert uh, the different uh, work pieces, so this will be the movement of the uh, lever and we can also move uh, the dial uh, test indicator in this fashion. So, whatever be the, the movement of indicator or work piece, we should uh, see that this angle is always uh, minimum. So, that uh, cosine error uh, effect is uh, minimized. Now, moving to the digital uh, indicators, now this shows uh, an indicator and uh, different uh, functions are available like on off function and then hold uh, function. So, and then uh, the uh, selection between uh, the English system or metric system all those things are possible and then uh, the data transmission data transfer is possible using RS uh, 232 C. Uh, for transmitting the data to computer for uh, statistical process uh, control. And then uh, we can see here this is the magnet stand dial indicator stand and uh, the uh, digital uh, indicator digital indicator is fixed to the stand and then we can uh, keep the work pieces here uh, for measurement uh, purpose. So, you can see the stand is very robust. Now, what are the features of uh, digital uh, indicators? Now, we can uh, set the tolerance uh, limits using uh, that uh, tolerance option and uh, go and no go judgment is possible. That means, when we uh, uh, the digital uh, indicator is used for uh, checking uh, the work pieces, if the, uh, the dimension is within the limits, it will say work piece can be accepted uh, by way of uh, displaying the green color. If the workpiece dimension is outside the limit tolerance limit, it will uh, that will be indicated by a color red color by the indicator. And another important and very interesting uh, feature is remote control via handheld controller. The dial indicator may be at uh, any place, maybe one meter or three meter or ten meter away. So that can be controlled by using uh, remote. Uh, control we need not have to go to uh, near the indicator uh, and we need not have to physically touch the indicator for setting purpose. And RS 232 C interface is possible. See since a remote control is possible uh, zero setting and uh, presetting without touching indicator is possible. See normally what happens if this remote uh, control option is not there for setting we have to go near the instrument and physically we have to touch the body of the indicator and we adjust the indicator. So, during that time the setting may change when they are doing uh, measurements of very very precise and uh, maybe uh, micron level uh, measurements. In that case that setting uh, also we should uh, maintain. So, if we physically touch the indicator the setting uh, may get disturbed. So, our uh, measurement uh, may be uh, um, there may be some error in the measurement. Since uh, this remote control is uh, available we can always uh, use 
for very very accurate and precise uh, uh, when precise measurement is required. And uh, these uh, digital indicators can be incorporated into measurement network. Maybe there are some 100, 200 thousands of uh, instruments are there. All the data can be uh, sent to the host uh, computer for uh, analysis purpose and uh, these uh, instruments ca can be networked into such, uh, such an arrangement. And they are available in various ranges like uh, 0 to 25 and 0 to 50 millimeter. Uh, longer uh, uh, ranges are also possible with resolution of uh, 0 0.001 mm, 0 0.01 mm with an accuracy, measurement accuracy of 0 0.03 mm. Now, these are uh, digital uh, thickness uh, gauges. So, you can see there is an anvil and a spindle and this will show the reading. We know this, there is no vernier, there is no uh, directly it gives uh, the digital display to lift uh, the plunger, to lift the plunger and to insert the workpiece, uh, we have uh, the plunger lifting arrangement. We have to hold uh, this instrument and then uh, using our uh, thumb, we can uh, pull this so that uh, plunger moves up and then we can insert the workpiece here and then they, we have to release this uh, lever and then the dial reading can be directly taken. And there are uh, various uh, kinds of uh, uh, spindles and anvils, interchangeable anvils and spindles are available for various uh, applications. Now, uh, the graduation uh, uh, it can be 0.01 mm or 0.001 mm and range is 0 to 10 mm, 0 to 12 mm they are available. And these two pictures show a dial type uh, uh, sheet metal uh, thickness gauge. Again, uh, we have a pl pl lever here, we have to hold uh, this uh, uh, body in our uh, uh, hand and then we have to pull this and then we have to insert the work piece here and this will directly give the reading. So, in this case, uh, the graduation is 0.1 uh, millimeter and range is uh, 0 to 10 millimeter. Now, what are the various applications of uh, thickness uh, gauges? So, it can be used for paper thickness uh, measurement. We have, see, the, in that case, we can use the very uh, short uh, range uh, uh, thickness gauges like 0 to 5 millimeter thickness or 0 to 2 such uh, 0 to 2 millimeter thickness range, uh, such uh, narrow range uh, gauges are available. So, you can also use thickness gauges for uh, uh, measuring uh, convex uh, uh, lenses and concave uh, lenses. In such cases, uh, interchangeable anvils uh, and uh, spindles will be of uh, much uh, use. For example, say we want to measure uh, the convex uh, lens like this. So, in that case, uh, we can use both uh, flat uh, anvil and flat uh, spindle. But when we want to measure the concave uh, lens, say we have a concave lens like this. In that case, uh, we cannot use uh, the flat uh, anvil and uh, flat uh, plunger. So, there will be error. So, spherical type or ball type uh, plunger and ball type anvils are available. So, such uh, things uh, can be used. Also, uh, this can be used for tube thickness uh, measurement. For example, uh, so we have the flat uh, plunger and then uh, we can use a ball type uh, anvil like this and then uh, the tube can be inserted here. I am inserting the tube and then we have to move the plunger down and then this will make contact and then we can directly take the reading. And then uh, narrow groove uh, depth measurement is also possible. Say we have a very uh, narrow groove like this. say of uh, 2 millimeter or uh, 2.5 millimeter groove. So, in such cases again we have to use a blade type uh, 
plunger and anvil. So, which will comfortably go into uh, the narrow groove. So, blade type uh, plunger and anvils they are available with thickness of 0.75 millimeter, 1 millimeter, 1.5 millimeter like that. So, appropriate blades uh, we have to select and uh, can be used for uh, thickness uh, measurement. Now, what are the specifications of uh, thickness gauges? They are available in various ranges like 0 to 12 millimeter range, 0 to 10 millimeter range and then uh, resolutions of uh, 0.001 mm, 0.01 mm and then uh, the, they can offer the accuracy of uh, plus or minus uh, 3 microns, plus or minus 20 microns. So, depending upon our uh, requirement, uh, we can select the instrument and use it. And then now, move, we will move to digital uh, depth gauge. Uh, now, digital depth gauges uh, with very excellent features are available, coolant proof uh, uh, digital depth gauges are available, uh, which can be used in very harsh uh, machine shop environment and different uh, 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 ranges and uh, different uh, resolutions are possible and they are fitted with uh, battery and battery life will be like 20,000 uh, hours continuously we can uh, use and recently solar type uh, depth gauges are uh, also uh, are available and uh, so the we have to put this uh, moving uh, rod with th this is the depth measuring rod. So, so this is the work piece. And then we have to take this uh, distal depth gauge and we have to keep like this. And then this rod will uh, we have to make uh, the rod to move in and then that carbide tip will contact the bottom and then this uh, indicator will directly give the reading. And then extendable uh, rods are also available depending upon the depth of hole or the height of the work pieces, we can select appropriate uh, extension rods and then uh, we can fit them and uh, we can use them. Now, various uh, kinds of uh, uh, depth gauges, the digital depth gauges are available with a range of uh, 0 to 150 millimeter, 0 to 200 millimeter and 0 to 300 millimeter also available with resolution of 0.01 mm and accuracy of uh, plus or minus 0.02 mm, 0 plus or minus 0.03 mm and uh, they can offer a repeatability of 0 0.01 mm and uh, repeatability of 0.01 mm. Uh, they have a very good uh, accuracy uh, of plus or minus uh, 0.02 mm and uh, for this particular range, the accuracy is uh, plus or minus 0.03. Mm. Now, uh, depth gauge uh, attachment uh, for vernier, so some uh, attachments are also available. Now, we can see that uh, sketch of uh, depth gauge attachment. Now, uh, we can see here uh, depth gauge ends, different kinds of uh, ends are available. Now, this is a hook type uh, end, this is uh, the uh, the rod of uh, the depth gauge and it is shaped like this hook type uh, shape is there. Now, uh, say we have a hole of this, 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 this shape in the work piece. Now, I want to measure uh, the total depth. So, that is possible even with uh, ordinary uh, dial uh, depth gauge or uh, vernier caliper we can measure this. Now, I want to know this thickness. So, this uh, is not possible with our ordinary depth gauges. So, there this uh, hook type uh, uh, depth gauge will be of uh, much uh, use. Now, you can see here we have to move this uh, depth gauge towards uh, this end and then we have to lift this end. So, that this end comes in contact uh, with uh, the workpiece uh, under surface, inside surface and then we can directly uh, read uh, this depth uh, d 2. And sometimes, uh, we will be having a projection in the workpiece like this, I want to get this uh, 
dimension d 3. If it is outside surface they can use uh, the other uh, instruments like vernier caliper or uh, micrometer, but now this is inside this uh, projection is inside uh, a deep uh, hole. So, in such cases this hook uh, hook end will be of uh, much uh, use. You can see here uh, once we have to take reading gear this uh, surface of uh, the hook will be in contact with this surface we have to take the reading and then it is moved like this then again we have to increase the depth and then now this upper surface uh, will come in contact with uh, the bottom surface of that projection. So, again we have to take the reading and then difference gives uh, this thickness d 3. So, like this uh, we can uh, have uh, different uh, kinds of uh, ends uh, depending upon the application and then we can use. Now, uh, for ordinary vernier caliper or uh, dial uh, type uh, depth gauge, uh, we can have a uh, attachment depth gauge attachment for uh, vernier caliper. Now, you can see here uh, the vernier caliper can be inserted there is a slot here or groove here. So, through that we can insert and then there is a screw we can uh, clamp it and then we can use that uh, complete assembly for depth measurement uh, purpose. So, by using this attachment to the caliper we can comfortably measure the uh, depths. And also the dial type uh, depth gauges uh, are available uh, with the range of 0 to 300 millimeter and resolution of 0 0.05 uh, millimeter. So, depending upon our uh, requirement we can uh, select either uh, vernier type uh, depth gauge or dial type depth gauge or uh, digital uh, depth gauge. So, before we select the instrument we should uh, make uh, a survey of the instruments uh, the economical aspect of that and uh, what are the various features whether uh, coolant proof type is required or not. So, such things uh, we have to what is the accuracy that is needed what is the resolution that is needed what kind of repeatability is uh, expected. So, all such things uh, we have to see before uh, making a selection. Now, uh, we will move to a special type of uh, caliper we have studied vernier caliper and different types of uh, calipers inside caliper like that. This is a very special uh, universal uh, caliper uh, wherein we have the bar ok this is the main bar of the instrument on which uh, uh, we have uh, uh, measuring heads this is uh, one uh, anvil and this is another and this is the measuring head and this is the second anvil. In the case of uh, ordinary mechanical type uh, vernier caliper what happens is there is one fixed jaw and then another uh, moving jaw whereas, here both these arms or jaws can be moved at a time. So, this can be moved uh, in this fashion like this. So, this can be moved like this and this can also be moved. Now, we can keep the work piece between these two and uh, the we can take the reading. Now, multiple uh, dimension measurement uh, with inter see all these uh, anvils can uh, the set of uh, anvils are available depending upon our application we have we can change these anvils and we can use it. For example, uh, for the measurement of thickness for example, say we have a work piece like this and we want to measure this uh, thickness. So, in that case uh, we can use uh, two flat type uh, anvils and say we want uh, uh, a, a, a tube or a pipe then uh, one can be uh, flat and one can be ball type or uh, round disc type like this disc type uh, ends. So, when we have both uh, disc type ends, so this can be used for measurement of thickness and as well as for uh, measurement of uh, pipe also we can uh, measure is the pipe and this can be moved and it will may make contact here and thickness can be measured. And then uh, the internal dimension uh, measurement is also possible and then central distance uh, uh, is possible the, the distance between two holes. So, that central distance can be measured and then the distance uh, 
from uh, edge of the work piece to the center of the hole. So, that is also possible. So, uh, one uh, the anvil can be like uh, spherical anvil and another can be conical like this. So, we have to fix this uh, spherical type uh, here and anvil type uh, here and then uh, using this combination we can find uh, the edge to center of hole distance. Similarly, if say we have uh, two holes and we want the distance between uh, the this center and this center. In that case uh, both uh, conical type uh, we, we should use. So, it will give directly the center distance. So, like this uh, uh, various uh, kinds of uh, measurements are possible and they are available uh, with a wide range of uh, I mean uh, wide ranges like 0 to 150 millimeter, 0 to 300 millimeters with the resolution of 0 0.01, 0 0.001 with an accuracy of uh, the 2 microns, 3 microns. So, uh, depending upon our uh, requirement uh, we can uh, select uh, this type of uh, instrument. All functions like hold function, on off function and then uh, uh, conversion from inch to milli mm. Uh, selection of inch system and mm, sele mm uh, sele metric selection and then uh, the uh, data transfer uh, possibility like uh, RS 232C port. So, all such things uh, are available in this uh, universal uh, caliper. Now, uh, we will uh, conclude this uh, session. In this session, we studied about uh, different kinds of uh, dial indicators, digital dial indicators, uh, then uh, dial type uh, dial indicators with varied, uh, varied uh, uh, ranges, varied resolutions, selectable resolutions and then we studied about uh, liver type uh, uh, dial indicator or uh, uh, dial test indicator. We also studied about uh, thickness uh, gauges and what are the features of thickness gauges and then what are the various applications of dial indicators. We also discussed about uh, universal caliper, what are the various features of uh, universal uh, caliper. So, with this uh, we will conclude this uh, session. Thank you. Yeah.